Bringing back a fish population that has been struggling over the last few decades isn't an easy task. But a new study suggests breaching four dams along the Lower Snake River Basin could help. I'm breaching the dam just uh, in the main stem Columbian snake essentially means removing the earthen portions of of the, the entire structure that spans the river. Adam Storch works as an analyst for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. He says breaching the dams would require the removal of some rock and sand that lies around the four dams along the river. Those are the Ice Harbor, Lower Monumental, Little Goose, and Lower Granite. So the idea um, is essentially to remove those embankments so that they're Water can, can flow around the dam, free, the remaining portion of the dam freely. Breaching the dams would also allow for the fish to swim around the dams. Stort says timing is everything as these fish come down the Snake River and eventually into the Columbia. Their progress is slowed and essentially, you know, with that, they're susceptible to a bunch of, you know, kind of deleterious things like predation, um, high water temperatures, things like that. The longer these fish are trying to get through these dams, the higher risks they face, including disease. But making an easier route for them... That is a, a huge driver of survival from, from the work we've done. Could help this fish population grow again. Now, this research done by both Oregon State University and the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife comes on the heels of a similar study done by NOAA. Their report recommends breaching one or more of the Snake River hydroelectric dams as well. So far, the Biden administration, who would have to approve any breaching of any of the dams, has not made a decision on a move, how to move, or on a how to move forward. In the newsroom, Joe Ranieri, KGW News.